Hello and welcome. Um, it's been a long time since latest last video. Um, I've been quite busy with my daily work, but now back to filming and I have an interesting one. I've been actually waiting to do this for a long time now. Um, I'm testing a bunch of Catrice's uh, Clean Idea ID uh, products. Um, that's a product series of Catrice and what they say that this series is is a series of makeup products based on environmentally uh, friendly formulas. These are also um, free of animal testing and there is what there is. They are free of parabens, silicones, microplastics, mineral oil, pure palm oil, uh, exotic and animal ingredients. Uh, also, the packages are uh, made mainly of uh, paper or recyclable materials. So um, this is very interesting. It's not a clean beauty a series as such. So um, it's good to point that out. Uh, so it is mainly environmentally friendly ingredients consisting. So I have almost full face of Clean ID uh, series and then some of the products are regular Catrice line uh, of which I didn't find in this Clean ID series or at least wasn't in the stores here. Um, so basically let's get started. It's going to be a lengthy video I, I assume. First product is primer. This is Insta Bright Serum Primer, uh, kind of a lavender package. They have many primers, so um, I just picked one mainly because this uh, says that it's going to give the brightening effect an optical effect, uh, which I tend to love. Uh, this one is also a vegan product, so it says to shake well. I already did that. So let's try um, how it looks like. Um, interesting, there is a peachy shade. Um, it might be the brightening uh, and color balancing uh, process. I put this to my dry areas where I usually want to have more uh, moisture and also where I want that kind of small glow. Definitely there is a nice glow. Let me put my hair, hair up. So yes, there is nice glow. Um, it is more visible in this um, studio lights, but it is visible also in real life. Uh, really nice. I would say it feels like a basic, basic primer. So, um, Nothing special, but feels good, so um, all good. Uh, something actually I found just yesterday. They have a new um, Grip and Last Putty Primer. Uh, I haven't tested this at all. This is from Catrice. It's not from the Clean ID series. It comes with a small spatula and it's, it's a putty thing. And I love the spatula, so you don't need to put your fingers in here. So. A uh, very kind of uh, hygienic way to use it. I have absolutely no idea how much I need, but I took this kind of small half pea and I need a little bit help uh, on my nose, uh, on these uh, smile creases and then this part. These are the ones that tend to get oily and where the foundation tends to usually to slip a little bit. So let's put this here. There is a slight silicone feeling. Otherwise, it's a very, very smooth. Um, yeah, feels nice. I tested this in store and I noticed that the uh, eyeshadow I swiped uh, after testing this it did stuck a little bit better in this area where I use this, so I have high hopes that this might be actually a really, really good one. But also good, uh, I like, I like, it feels, feels nice. It doesn't 
It doesn't feel drying at all, which is of course very good for dry skin. The foundation I have is um, what it is called High Cover Luminous Matte Foundation. I have shade 004. Uh, it might be a little bit pale for me. Let's see what happens. Um, also tells to shake well before use, which I actually already did. Uh, this is also we vegan, uh, no silicones, microplastics, mineral oil or parabens. Uh, and non comedogenic so high hopes. Interesting to see, I'm not a full coverage um, lover, uh, so interesting. And I'm not usually a matte foundation lover, so nice to see how, how, how I like this. I took a little bit to my plate. Um, let's start with this amount. I have no idea how much I need. And as usual, my Smashbox um, foundation brush. The shade is a bit yellowy, um, but it's not too light. So this is okay. It says high cover, but at least the first impression is not. Maybe this is buildable. I always use just my brush. I, I rarely use sponges, so hence um, I'll do my whole face with with the brush. Interesting. This is this is not runny at all, um, and I expected it to be a more kind of thick layer, but it actually it's really thin on skin. But there is coverage. It does cover my. Um, redness and hyperpigmentation surprisingly well. Uh, it doesn't fully cover. I can see everything still, but um, this looks really nice. And the shade is really, really good. I look a bit pale on camera. Um, sorry about this coastly, but as you can see, I am pale. It's winter in, in Finland. I haven't seen sun in weeks. I don't remember when I've seen sun last time. Possibly on Christmas Day. It's now January 5th, so maybe on Christmas Day. Yeah. Could be. This is really nice. This is really, really, really nice. It's very thin layer, and the the foundation is matte, but there is luminosity in it. So it it's not like powdered flat. There is, as you can see, there is luminosity, um, and it does cover my. Redness and hyperpigmentation surprisingly well. Oh, this is this is impressive. I have to say, especially with the price point, um, looks really nice. I have also concealer, same clean ID line, and the shade I think yes, same zero zero four, light almond. Um, also, what they say in these packages is that these should be good for sensitive skin, which is uh, exactly what I have. Um, so always good, good to have. Uh, this shade is also quite uh, yellowish peachy. Um, it, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it's just good to notice. This as well is definitely not thick. It's not full coverage either, which is okay to me. I don't like full coverage concealers.
Yeah, it is very similar to the foundation. Um, it is kind of, uh, it's not glowy, it's not wet looking, but there is that kind of same kind of uh, glowiness. And the cover, it's, it's pretty much the same. It does cover quite well and the, um, the consistency is really thin, but it doesn't cover everything. Uh, let's see if I can build this up a little bit. Well, it's not building up too much, so this is definitely more of those uh, light to medium coverage days. But I really like um, how it looks and how it feels. If this is not drying at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm quite confident that this is going to be one of my favorite concealer. It's, it's looking really nice. The whole face is looking really nice. Um, let's see if I can put a little bit coverage to my nose. Yeah, I can add a little bit extra here, so... Not much. Uh, if there is a lot of redness, I need to use something else. Okay, I used Uma uh, concealer as eyeshadow primer. This is too trying to use as an under eye primer. Uh, under eye concealer, but a uh, great one for me for uh, eyeshadow primer. Okay, I have a powder. This is Mineral Matte Face Powder. Uh, shade is 010 Neutral Sand. This is very light powder and a bit pinky. Um, I'll use my Smashbox uh, powder brush. Um, this is very kind of um, loose and flexible, so um, it applies only a small amount of powder. And then I'll apply a little bit, a little bit more to my eyelids to prep for the shadow. Perfectly good powder, um, very, very finely milled. Um, goes on beautifully, so um, no issues so far. I didn't purchase any uh, new brow product products now, even though the Clean Idea uh, series has brow products, so I'm using the one I already have from Catrice. This is Eyebrow Stylist in shade 040 Don't Let Me Brown. Uh, this I already know is really good kind of uh, basic, um, basic good brow pencil. Here we go. I like the kind of soft look this gives. This is more kind of a powdery pencil, if, if I can say so. It's not waxy at all, so I really like it. Uh, one thing I, I picked up, because I really, really use this, so I want to try. This is Brow Fixing Gel from the Clean ID series. Uh, it's transparent. Um, I just never remember to use any brow gels, but it might be also that I haven't found the right one for me. So, uh, okay, I like at least that thing that it doesn't feel wet. It makes me uncomfortable when I have really wet eyebrows. All right, we cannot see any difference, but I think that was the purpose on clear eyebrow product. Let's go to eyes. Uh, I picked up this mineral eyeshadow palette Supernatural Energy. Um, this is vegan as well and again same no list, no microplastic parabens and, and so on. Um, and this is shade 034 of Nature. I swatched this on store, in store, and especially the shimmery shades uh, swatched really, really well. Of course, that's never the full story, but uh, let's see what uh, this this little thing can do. Very natural color, colors, nothing kind of crazy, so this will be um, 
pretty much my kind of everyday makeup look now. I think I'll take this shade called Terra first. Well, there is um, more pigment than I thought. Um, I haven't had too good luck with Catrice eyeshadows before. Um, they have been improving a lot during last years, but um, they tend to be very dry and lacking in pigment. So this is definitely a better formula from Catrice. Then I'll take the mauve shade of Treasure. Let's see. These are really, really soft uh, shades. This is definitely a kind of wash of color look more than a very uh, pigmented uh, and very kind of uh, full of contrast makeup. I think I'll go with the green one. This is the one I swatched at store and There is, this is There is a lot of pigment and you really need to be careful with this one um, It does uh, what many uh, shades does when the price point is a bit lower um, it tends to blend away, um, so it, it's not something that you can just blend and it just kind of nicely uh, softens, but um, at least this one. It might be also that I powdered my eyelids uh, before application, but um, this is, tends to fade away uh, quite easily. But the shade is nice. Um, I like this. It's kind of grayish green, army green shade. This is a good example that even though something swatches really well, it might not then perform really well. And this is exactly what's happening. Let's see if I can save anything with the other shade. Okay, um, there's nothing more this eyeshadow palette can do, so let's go forward. I do have a um, gel eye pencil from Catrice. This is not Clean ID, this is the regular line. I can't find the shade name. Um, this says it's a waterproof 20 hours wear. Uh, let's see, I usually like gel liners. Uh, because I have very watery eyes. Usually gel liners are more kind of a slicky, slippery. This is very sticky. Um, it doesn't glide on eyelids. And with my unstable hands, this is a bit tricky. All right. Um, Let's see how it wears. Uh, a little bit sticky, a bit difficult to put on, but the shade is really deep brown, which I actually have been thinking of purchasing, so now I don't have to. I have this one. Um, no, no bad words uh, for that. I did pick a mascara. This is Volume and Definition Mascara from the same uh, Clean ID series. Regular brush, quite a big one actually. This is really dry formula in the sense that it feels like this has been open for some weeks already. It's quite difficult to get any color from it. The good thing is that if you are in a hurry, you definitely don't need to wait long for mascara to dry because it's really dry already. Not a good thing, but um, 
Okay. Um, if you want to test um, Catrice mascara, uh, this one, this is a lashes to kill, no panda eyes, smudge proof. Uh, this is kind of, it's not volumizing, it's not lengthening, it's kind of everyday mascara, but the best thing is that this really doesn't smudge. Uh, it, I, I can go through uh, rain and sleet and snow and, and this doesn't smudge, so I really, really love this. We are almost there. Uh, I have bronzer plus and lipstick. The bronzer is from uh, Catrice's regular line. This is Holiday Skin Luminous Bronzer uh, with Macadamia Oil. And the shade is 010 Summer in the City. Um, the shade is very tempting um, and I love Luminous Bronzer, so high hopes on this one. The shade is really nice. It's a bit warmer than I hoped, but it is um, it is actually really nice. It's it, it's very close to the one the shade I get when I tan a little bit. So um, it's actually quite hard for me to find a bronzer that mimics my own <laughs> tanned shade so this looks familiar in that sense so um, I like the formula it's really smooth um, and it's quite thin actually so uh, even though if you are fair skin um, you can be general with the application um, there's just a little bit of sheen uh, it's not glowy at all so yeah um, uh, and then a plus, this is also Catrice Cheek Lover Oil Infused Plus, and this is why I wanted to test it, because if there, my skin is so, so, so dry, that if there is a blush with uh, oil in it, um, it might not dry my skin during the day. Also, the shade is really nice. Seems to be quite pigmented, so be careful. Yeah, this is really nice. This is kind of bright coral with golden sheen. Really pretty. The lights take some of the color off, hopefully you can see. Let me swatch, swatch it to you, so... Oh, still not. There is quite a lot of sheen in this plus as well, so the lights reflect back from it. But the shade is really, really pretty. Um, I can see this being one of my favorites, especially when we get closer to next summer and spring. And then lipstick. Um, I have Clean ID Silk Intense Lipstick. Uh, shade is... Perfectly Nude 020, it's a cardboard package and the shade is this kind of um, peachy nude. Let's try just without any liner um, how it goes. Is this a lipstick? It feels like lip balm. The shade is really nice. Is this lipstick? Yeah, it says lipstick, but this is definitely closer to lip balm uh, to me. It's very slippery, very kind of balm-like. There is absolutely no that kind of stiffness that lipsticks usually have. Yeah, but the shade is really nice. Um, oh, I like this. Hopefully this doesn't irritate my lips. If it doesn't, uh, again, I can see this to be one of my favorites. I really really like the shade and the feel and now that there is winter uh, minus temperatures um, this is exactly something I like to wear um, to protect also my lips then last step I have a hyaluronic fixing spray 12 hours hydro vegan as well um, 
They tell me to shake well before use, but there is nothing to. It's just a liquid. Okay, let's try. Oh, whoa, the spray is really tense and my face is now wet. Whoa, this is, this is um, a wake up, wake up call to your skin. Whoa. Nice scent, those. All right, so here we are. Um, quick go through. Uh, primer, yeah, actually I like this. I, I need to test it more, I use a little bit differently, but um, very good basic, a little bit brightening uh, primer. Uh, foundation, a huge thumbs up. I really like how it looks um, on my skin. Hopefully it wears well. I have a feeling that it will wear well. I will put the comments to the description box of how it wore. Uh, same with the concealer, really like this. Um, definitely will keep using a uh, very good um, first impression. Um, powder, um, I actually really did like. The shade is really light and it's a bit pinky. So on me, it is actually quite brightening. I can very well see myself setting my under eye area with this powder uh, because of the brightening effect. So uh, good thing and it doesn't irritate my skin at all. So really like it. Um, well, do I need to say anything about this? This is a hard no. Uh, don't try this. Um, sorry, Catrice, I love you, but this is not good. Um, then uh, eyeliner, um, okay, uh, a bit difficult, sorry, this is eyeliner, a bit difficult to use, but um, okay. Uh, mascara, not my favorite, uh, too dry, difficult to apply. Uh, brow product, the, the gel, um, I like that it's not, it's not clumpy, uh, they are not crisp and dry, it just feels like they are set to place, so I like it. Um, the formula of the bronzer is really nice. Uh, I need to check if they have possibly other shades than this, but I really like the silky, uh, slightly sheeny formula of this one. And then the two ones, uh, plus and lipstick, uh, I really like these. Uh, these look really nice, and the lipstick, uh, definitely I need to test more in this winter time. So thumbs up for these and um, this feels nice and it smells nice. The spray is horrendous. I need to check if I have better bottle to <laughs> switch this into, but um, the product itself is nice. So no complaints on that. I think I have now everything. Oh, um, the primer for the nose. Um, my makeup did apply really well on over it. So at least it didn't cause any problems. Uh, I need to keep testing this. You can follow me on Instagram as well. It's the same handle, Merit of Beauty. I think I'm going to post review of this uh, after a couple of days usage when I see with my favorite foundations and normal routine how it works. But at least so far, all good. So here we are, full face of Catrice ID, almost full face. So. Uh, some new favorites and some definite letdowns, but uh, if you enjoyed the, the video and want to see more, you know what to do, aka subscribe. And hope to see you next time. Have a great day. See you. Bye bye. <music>